Good morning. Um, as chair of the Evolutionary Psychiatry Special Interest Group, I'd like to welcome you to uh, our first Evolutionary Psychiatry Symposium. Uh, as you may know, EPSIG was set up in January of this year, and since then we have issued four newsletters and held two meetings in addition to this inaugural symposium. As far as I'm aware, this is the first ever evolution psychiatry conference held under the auspices uh, of our college. I hope no one's going to tell me that I'm wrong about that. Um, um, we had no idea what level of interest to expect for such an event, but we, um, we are delighted that all available places were sold out in record time. And, um, but sadly, uh, we've had to um, um, turn some colleagues away. Uh, we're extremely encouraged by the level of interest both in the formation of our SIG and also in this symposium. Um, and we hope that many of you fellows, members, and associates of the college will become active members of uh, our nascent group. We certainly need your active participation, and this is a message that you will hear many times uh, during the course of um, today. Psychiatrists have given um, uh, credence and airtime to numerous questionable theories about human nature over the years while overlooking and ignoring evolutionary science, even though it forms the foundation of all biological sciences. It's such a shame to think of all those clever and talented psychiatrists who, because of the way that um, psychiatric and medical education uh, is organized, can go through their entire careers without ever becoming aware of the potential that evolution has to enrich and enhance their thinking, inquiries, and research into mental health and mental disorder. It's one of uh, EPSIG's primary aims to try and rectify this anomalous situation through collaborating with um, colleagues of various disciplines, um, both in the UK and internationally. Now, back to our symposium. Uh, we have a packed program, um, uh, and we are privileged to, to have three uh, internationally renowned keynote speakers um, who are um, all pioneers in various aspects of evolutionary science uh, and who have kindly volunteered their time in support of this event. Uh, I'm sure we can look forward to a, um, a thought-provoking and stimulating day. And I'd like to now hand over to our chairman for the morning, Professor George Ikos. So, good morning. I'm actually thrilled to be chairing this and honored to be asked to do so. I've actually, in one way or another, I've contributed to the college for 25 years. Currently, I'm honorary archivist. So I'll take you a little bit in the prehistory of the current special interest group, because when I organized this meeting, I think I did the most consequential thing for the college in my 25 years there. So this was a meeting on emotion and psychiatry, New York science, history, and culture at, at the Royal Society of Medicine. And Paul had suggested I invite Randy Nesse to be one of the speakers, and he generously came. But equally important in the audience was Paul, Mohammed Abbas, and uh, Riyad Abed. And I, could, I saw the moment that EPSIC was, was conceived because they met each other and have set up the Evolutionary Psychiatry Special Interest Group. So congratulations to you three and to Agnes and uh, to Annie for taking this forward. I think it may prove to be a very seminal event. I think we have the largest evolutionary psychiatry collection of people and interest anywhere in the world. So I think this could be very important to them. 
so I'll pass on to Paul Simjan Smith, who is a very mm -hmm. dear friend, colleague, student, and teacher, to speak about why uh, evolutionary psychology. Thank you. Thank you.